Today I'm bringing you 10 drugstore dupes that kind of even impressed me. I was super surprised that I was able to find these because they are that good. I can't wait to get into it with you. Let's start that video right now. Hello friends, I have been kind of keeping things in the back of my head as to what I felt like were dupes and I'm so excited to share these with you today because I have a couple that are like buy this not that type thing so they're not exactly but honestly I'm really kind of shocked at how good these are even myself when I was putting this video together. If this is the first time you're with me, welcome by the way if this is the first time you're with me, but if it is the first time you're with me I put a timestamp right here because I do a little bit longer of an intro. I show my jewelry, my top, and I talk about a few other things. So skip over that to go directly to the dupes right here if you'd like to do that. All right, first thing we do is we talk about what I have on today, which is such a fun shirt. I have worn this and shown this on my channel before, but I love this top. This is a tunic top with a cold shoulder on it. And honestly, I just wore my own bra with this today and tucked my bra strap right down here because I didn't want to have to wear a strapless sometimes they can be so uncomfortable but this is definitely a t-shirt material kind of a jersey knit it's very soft i love the color blocking on it they do have a lot of colors and they do have some long sleeves if you're wondering about that heading into the fall also i chose to wear my cute little earrings these are the cutest little enameled earring they're so pretty they're not that heavy they're very light and they have the the little petals right here and then they have the rhinestones in the middle with the gold accent i just think that these are so classy they do come in a lot of colors themselves i actually wanted to show you also another new find from that lifetime jewelry company now I am, like I told you, I am absolutely loving this company. It's so great to be able to find a company where you can buy something that is super quality and has a lifetime guarantee. This company has been around since 1987, so it's not like they're a new company. They just sell on Amazon, um, I'm sure to reach more people and I love them. And then also, as always, I will have my fingernail polish, all the makeup that I'm wearing that we don't talk about today, my rings, everything listed and linked down below. Talking about links, I have a special system where I do links for you. What we do is we put a number right up here on the screen that corresponds to the product that I will be talking about. So whatever product I hold up, I'll say the name of the product, but you don't have to remember the name of the product. You just have to remember the number that comes up here on the screen. And then you go down into the... And then you go down into the description box and you open that up and next to that number, say it's number three, will be that product, whatever color I'm using and the link and you can shop that way if you'd like to. Makes things a lot easier for everybody. So let's get into these dupes that I'm so very excited about doing for you today. I can't wait for you to see them. All right, to start off, this is a purposeful dupe. And when I say that, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, everybody runs around trying to find the perfect dupe for this and it's a great product it does blur everything out it gives you a tiny bit of coverage it gives a certain glow to your skin it's very pretty um, by the way I am wearing everything that we're talking about today I'm pretty sure the other one that just came out to dupe Charlotte Tilbury's flawless filter is the elf halo glow liquid filter it is basically the same thing it really truly is. It's basically the same thing. So I'll show you here in a little clip that I put this on and it really does just it looks the same. It has the same blurring properties. It has the same glowing properties. It's a very beautiful product on your skin. I like them both, but when we're talking about a price point and people that can't afford this hefty, hefty price tag, let's talk about something that's going to really do the job and be every bit as beautiful and elf hit it out of the park. And I have loved it on my mature skin so far. Next, let's talk about my beloved Kosas. The Kosas concealer made me fall in love with concealers all over again because there was no creasing. It was very hydrating. It has skin loving ingredients in it. It just Picked off every box that I needed in order for it to be that beautiful, gorgeous, 
under eye coverage that I need for my hyper dark circles. But I was testing out for a video all kinds of concealers that were in my drawer and I tested the Re Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer against the Kosas, one on each eye. This is what I did one day and I was like, these are performing almost identical. Now you will see in the clip that I do right here, I actually found that this was a little bit lighter in color. Um, this is a little bit, uh, got a little bit more yellow, which helps me out a lot because it counteracts my dark purple circles. I did go in with just a little bit of a darker color on top of it to make them look the same, but this is so good. It's just almost identical. I mean, there's probably not as many skin loving ingredients. I know there's probably a lot of hyaluronic acid in this, but this one has, you know, different peptides and different things in it, which is going to help your skin over time. So you have that benefit. But if you're really not somebody that can fork out $26 for a concealer, this is, I think it's about $10. But this is 100% a dupe for it. It lays the same, no creasing, no caking. It's a phenomenal dupe, I believe. I just felt like when I saw it, it was so, so good. All right, next, I kind of skipped out of order of what my clips are in. But the next clip I'm going to show you is the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. I really feel like she did a great job on this. And I also feel like she really kind of stepped out of her comfort zone because this palette has so many light pastel colors in it and it really is a colorful palette. You don't see a lot of that from Natasha Denona lately. So I really do love this. Now in step Juvia's place and did a purposeful dupe. Again, this is the Garden of Juvia's. I love their artwork. Don't you just love their artwork? It's so pretty. So here is the Garden of Juvia's and it's so pretty and it is a really beautiful formula. However, when I was working with this today, I did feel like there were several colors that were close, but this is not a dead on dupe. So I wanted to put it in this video as a buy this, not that. I do absolutely love the color story that she came up with. I love that there's so many more purples in here than there is in the Natasha Denona one. I love that she put in more greens as well. Now let me just swatch a few of these for you so you can get kind of what I'm feeling. Now what I did today is I went in with this kind of a um, orange sherbet color right here. It's really pretty. One thing is I felt like the Natasha Denona this time was just a little bit chalky on some of these mattes. I don't know if that's just my own feeling or if it really is a little bit different this time. Now I swatched four for you there. I'm going to go over into the Juvia's place now and I'm going to swatch four of the mattes over here. Keep in mind that these are much more saturated. They are just so much more saturated than the other one. And I also feel like as I'm dipping my finger in here and I'm going across them, they just, they feel like buttery, whereas the Natasha Denona this time did not feel buttery at all. Like I said, I don't really think that this is a good absolute uh, dead on dupe because the colors are much different. But if you are just looking for a pastel palette that you can get along with real well, I think that you would love this one. This is their matte formula put together so that you can see them side by side. All right, we're going to swatch four of the Natasha Denona shimmers. Um, this one I'm going to show you because this is my favorite color out of the whole palette. And I think it may be my favorite color that I've seen in a very long time. As far as an iridescent, it's right there on my finger. As far as an iridescent, it's got this beautiful duochrome shift in it. It's amazing. I love it. So there are the shimmers. I feel like the shimmers are such better quality than the actual matte mattes were in that palette. Now we're going to go into the Juvia's Place and I'm just going to go ahead and grab, I don't know which ones. I actually think I wore this one right here. I did. This is a topper color. I took um, this color right here, which is a super light one, and I put this color over top of it across my eye right there. So I feel like the Juvia's Place, it's got this depth about it or this, I don't know, it's got this unique quality about it that kind of outshines the Natasha Denona this time. I know that I didn't swatch all of them, but I did want you to know that I feel like this is, even though 
I'm sure that Juvia's Place came out with this thinking, you know, we're going to dupe the Natasha Denona, but they didn't do it exactly. And I like that about it. They kind of did their own spin on it. And personally, as far as quality goes this time, I think Juvia's Place did a better job. So I do really feel like, like buy this from Juvia's Place, not that from Natasha Denona. All right, this one is just a little brush that I wanted to put in here as a dupe for the It Cosmetics um, Duo Concealer and Foundation brush everybody flips their noggin over that and there's a reason because it is a really good brush it's really handy it buffs in your makeup really well and then you can go on the other side and you can buff in your concealer and both of them do such a good job i used to use the it cosmetics one for years and years and years and i finally gave it away because i got into using my sponges more on my mature skin but i wanted to absolutely show you this because i just got this one off of amazon and it is every bit as soft and the brush is super super dense and it buffs in foundation so well and then remember how everybody was dying to get their hands on this dior blush it's a single blush and i think it costs like 38 dollars. i finally got my hands on it it's rosy glow it's very pretty blush but i will say that as you're you're getting in there it is a little bit hard to get product up if you're a woman that is more than a medium tan and up to very deep color don't even worry about this because this is much too light it's almost too light for me when i'm self tanning so it's pretty but i did find that the formula is a little bit powdery and i was a little bit disappointed in that and i was like what's up with the hype you know i I was kind of disappointed in spending that kind of money and getting something like this, but I was able to get my hands on the Persona Super Blush in bubble gum, bubble, I always want to say bubble gum. So you can see that when you're looking at the two of them, they do look very similar. I will tell you that they are just a little bit different and this is why, because the bubble from Persona is more pigmented, much more pigmented and it just goes on better it's still a powder blush so you do still have that but it's not as powdery as the dior one the one thing i do want to say that i didn't bring over here is that if you do love these colors by the way this isn't a drugstore dupe it's quite a bit more than you would pay at the drugstore for a blush it's just a dupe for it exactly and the other thing is that if you do like both of these colors but you prefer a liquid or cream blush flower beauty in their flower bombs and i can't remember what it's called i put it up on the screen right here but it's so pretty and it's very very close to this color it has that same um, almost bubblegum pink kind of look to it so very pretty i do like it very much and if you like the cream better go for the flower beauty one i will make sure i link that one below as well right here with blush and again this is not going to be a an exact dupe for color but huda beauty came out with the cheeky tint blush stick and this one is in proud pink this one has a ton of glow actually most of these have glow in them but it does have a lot of glow in it it's a beautiful blush i love wearing this this is so pretty um i do feel like you know her color is a little bit washed out so there's not a lot of payoff on it but that's kind of what she was going for i feel like so i also feel like when elf came out with their new luminous putty blah, 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 i'm doing that all day today when elf came out with their new luminous putty blushes they like gave us something that is so much better than this. So um, of course this is in a pot form, so it's not exact. This first color is called Bermuda and it's what I've been wearing the most of. This has much more color payoff without having so much that you are, you get in trouble with it. I also like that it's not as shiny and it really hugs the cheeks better and i think that that is just the formula of it being a little bit thicker cream formula whereas the stick is like it's almost it's almost too liquidy i can't really describe what it's what the difference is but i do like the elf formula a little bit better and then the next one is called belize and this one is every bit as pretty and what i feel like is that between the two of these you have this color so what i actually do is i mix the two of them together and they make this color right here so let me do that over top of this one right here so you can see what i'm talking about you have two separate blushes for i don't know how much these are i think there might be seven or eight dollars so let's say they're eight sixteen dollars and i don't know how much this one was it was like 30 something so 
honestly, I'm absolutely over the moon in love with these ones from e.l.f. They last so much longer. They are so much prettier on my mature skin. This one feels like it's always a little bit tacky, always a little bit wet, and I feel like it does rub off very easy. I almost feel like I have to set it sometimes. Definitely feel like e.l.f. hit it out of the park. Huda did a great job. I do like these. I like my darker colors, but at the same time, why would you spend so much more money on a product when you have something that is so much more beautiful and stays around so much longer. All right, Kosas Cloud Set. You all know that I do love this powder. This is a beautiful powder and you can see I kind of had to scrape off the top of it. I don't know what that's about. Something to do with this being a baked product, I'm sure. But what this is, is it's a super duper fine powder that Kosas came out with. And I tried this immediately after I tried their Revealer Concealer and I fell in love with it because it is very, very light and it doesn't have that powdery feel. It just feels like, it just feels like air when you're using it. And I do have it to set the Kosas today. It's so pretty. But I did have one of you subscribers, and thank you, whoever you are, come and say, Melissa, have you tried the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder yet? No, I hadn't. Now I have, and I'm so glad I did. Thank you so very much for letting me know. This is feels almost identical to it. It has that same very light, just that airy, perfecting, blurring property to it. I set this eye with it today and I, you know, I kind of did a little bit of setting on all over on both sides a little bit just because it's really warm here today. But this is so pretty. It, it kind of gives you a little bit more coverage than the Kosas does. The Kosas comes in colors. This one comes in colors too. This one is in fair. I don't know, I feel the creaminess in it no drying in it. That's kind of a little bit of drying when you get to the Kosas because this is so light and airy. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love this Kosas. And, but I do feel like if you're somebody that has super dryness that you might like the LA color better because it just feels buttery. It just feels a lot softer. It just feels, even though it feels light and airy, it just feels like it would be a lot better for hydration and not drying you out so much. But boy, you guys were spot on. You really, truly were. This is fantastic powder that I feel like is so pretty. All right, we're getting down to it. One of my very favorite highlighters ever is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And this one is in Double Gleam. This is a great color for me. It's not like pink. It's not like peach. It's just a very pretty color. And I love that it gives you a beautiful glow without being like so shiny that you couldn't possibly wear it. I've had this one for quite a while. Love it. But I did find this one today that is a dupe. And this one is from Rimmel. This is just their highlight. And it says Buttery Soft Highlighting Powder. This one is called Stardust. This is, every bit is pretty, it's so pretty. Now I will say that this one is a little bit more on the beaming side of things, but I feel like once you got it on your cheeks, you couldn't possibly tell which one was which. And obviously from the clip that I show you today, you'll know which one is which, but you can tell from each side that they pretty much glow just about the same and they're just about identical. The other thing is if you go in with a much lighter hand on the Rimmel one, which will make your product last even longer, for for the value then you definitely have just a soft wash but you can but it can be built up to that super high beam if you want it to be and then lastly this is a purposeful dupe backwards so <laughs> here are the new urban decay and i can't remember what these are called i think it says liquid lip elixir if i'm wrong i will make sure i throw it up there i don't know why i can't read but i mean yes i do because the little tiny print is just silly. Okay, I only bought one of these because I didn't know if I was going to like it, but then when I got it home, I'm like, not only didn't I not like the color, but I was a little bit upset because I feel like Urban Decay took somebody else's formula and they used it to call it their own, and it's not their own. It's somebody else's. So this one is, um, the, I don't know why I bought this. I In the store, it looked much more pink, but it's got that brown tone to it. It's pretty. You could wear it as a your lips but better or a deepened nude with a beautiful um, liner. You could really um, pull that off, especially if you have a little bit more of a neutral warm tone. Very pretty. 
like it very much. However, you are you probably already know what I'm going to say when I say that I feel like they decided they were going to try and dupe it out themselves and put a higher price tag on it. And that is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink. These are incredible. Okay, first of all, I didn't like them when I first got them because they were super felt like they were super sticky. That same formula is here, right here. And what it is, is it feels it's a hybrid between a vinyl lipstick, which would be a high shine, and a liquid lipstick, which means that it's going to stick around all day. I will tell you that neither of these formulas stick around after you eat. They didn't for me anyway. Once I ate, they're gone pretty much. You have a little bit of color left from um, both of them, but once you eat, they're they're pretty much gone. So this one from Urban Decay, I feel like it's a little bit thinner formula than the one from Maybelline. Maybe that's why I don't like it as much because I do like a little bit more of a juicy formula. But I have on today, I have on Koi and then I have on this one called Restless. Restless might be one of those ones that you can only get at Target. Target has like four or five shades that they, maybe it's only three or four. Anyway, they have a few shades that you can only get at Target because Maybelline released it only there. So Koi is the base that I have on today. This is the one that I've been loving. I've been wearing like crazy. The other thing, look at, I already feel like these have more shine in them than the Urban Decay do. Um, this is just, it's a better formula. I really truly believe it's a better formula. I feel like it sticks around a lot longer. I know that, you know, they wanted the concept to probably be exactly the same. It's just not. Um, I, you can tell just looking at them right there, you can tell that the Maybelline has so much more shine to it. Probably if I built that up from the Urban Decay one, let's just put another little coat on. If I build this up, I can probably get a little bit more shine out of it. The problem is, is that that is such a thin formula that you get a lot of coverage with a thin formula. So I don't know if that's what they want you to do. I, I can't tell exactly what they want you to do. I do know that they, they both want you to shake them. So yeah, <laughs> it's the same thing. So I think that the Urban Decay is an, an okay formula. I just don't feel like it's as good as the Maybelline. I don't feel like it lasts as long as the Maybelline, but I'm telling you that if you get up in the morning and you put your lipstick on, you know, on your way to work or whatever, and then you until, you know, noon, let's say you go to work at eight and it's noon or one o'clock, that's going to look just as beautiful. I mean, it's going to look just like what I have on right now. So, um, you know, it's going to be just as beautiful four hours, five hours. So if you were only, you know, using a straw and just drinking, it's going to be there. Nothing's going to happen to it because I've been drinking all morning and it's still there. But I really feel like even though this was a reverse dupe that Maybelline still does it better. So I'm pretty sure that that was my last one. And now that I've gotten down off my soapbox and I feel like I've kind of trashed a bunch of products here, you have great alternatives that are so much more affordable and I feel like such better quality. I hope that you did enjoy the dupes video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for being here with me. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up on the screen right here another dupes video for you so that you can go take a look at it and see what you think of some of my past dupes. Thank you so much for being here. Hope everybody is happy and healthy. I love you much and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye my friends.